Hi everybody, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making you all some uh, baby lima beans and with smoked turkey part with the dark meat, I'll be using the thigh and part of some of the leg. Also, I'll be seasoning with okra on the side. I'll be seasoning it with some bouillon cubes, this is chicken, salt and pepper and some hot sauce because I, I forgot to get my jalapeno pepper but I'm going to use this instead. I normally use that. And here's the vegetable I'll be using that one time. Here, this is a yellow onion, it's our sweet onion. This is a green onion. There's a green onion part of it. This is the tip of the green onion. I chopped that up. Here's fresh garlic. And here's my uh, my green pepper or bell pepper. And here's my pobano <laughs> pepper. This is a mild chili powder. I mean, chili pepper. And this is what I be. These are my ingredients. Okay, here's my turkey, my dark meat turkey. I'm gonna take and cut some of this turkey off the bone. Cause see, this is gonna be my only uh, meat. I'm not gonna uh, cook no other meat on the side. So that's why I got, uh, try to get less fat on my turkey. Turkey don't have that much fat. I'm gonna just cut it in parts and I'm gonna season. I'll be eating turkey, smoked turkey with lima beans. And I'm gonna cut these off here. I got two types of smoked uh, turkey. So I'm gonna cut them in its chunks. And I probably use all of this meat, you know, because like I say, I'm not cooking no other meat. I just, this today is my birthday, y'all. I'm 74 today, and what I wanted for my birthday was some lima beans with some uh, smoked turkey. That's what I wanted, so that's why I'm cooking. I'm cooking this for me, because this is what I wanted. Okay, because I used to eat this when I was a child, and uh, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to fix it, and I had a taste for this. And you know, times are getting kind of, what's the bone? Time is getting kind of rough out there, you know, turkey. And this is a, uh, you don't see too much fat. You can make this, a, you know, you ain't got to cook no more meat if you don't want to. That's up to you. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cut this, some of this right here. This is where all the meat is, see? This is nothing but meat. I'm going to be putting some of this in here. This is good part. And I got to see how that, that uh, turkey, it looked like it's ham. And you're going to enjoy this because it's going to season. When I put all these seasons in here, you're going to re really enjoy this. So, okay then. Finish cutting it. Okay. I took all the uh, turkey off the bone, the dark part. It kind of looked like ham. You know, uh, ham, and there ain't too much fat on there. So what I'm gonna start, it doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season this with some uh, salt. Just a little bit of salt because you know I want uh, this. I don't know how this, how much uh, this smoke, uh, how much sodium on the smoke uh, turkey. So then I'm gonna put some pepper, put a little bit more pepper, because in the end I'm gonna season, I'm gonna taste and see how much I need. Spreading this on there. Well, okay. After that, I'm gonna take in, a, I'm gonna take in a, just put some hot, I normally have jalapeno pepper, so I'm gonna take and shake this up and just sprinkle some on it. And I'm just laying it on top, so like when it cook, it'll smother that and you know, cooking that. I have some, something wrong with that top. Pour a little bit, I don't want too much in here, just a little bit. Just a little bit over here. It seasoned the beans so good. And I got a lot of beans on there. They can call me the bean lady because I got about four different types of beans on my channel. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of these. I'm going to use my hand, take it clean, the gloves that change. I'm going to put some of this over here because I want this to steam, this flavor to steam in here. And I'm going to say to someone, I put my lima beans in here too. I'm going to let this cook for about 30 minutes. So these are my green onions. Save enough for my, uh, when I put my lima bean. Now here's my yellow onion. I'm spreading it across. This. And like I said, I always spread it across. That's like, like I said, this is my birthday, and I had a taste for uh, smoked turkey and baby lima beans. I love that. And so here's my green bell pepper, green pepper. I'm putting some of this. See, this is going to cook away, so it doesn't matter. All this is doing is flavoring. Instead of using a dry flavor, I'm using this. Okay, put that in here. Now I'm going to use some of this pepper right here. It's a mild uh, uh, chili pepper. Put some of that over here. This is going to be so good. I use that, and I'm going to put some fresh garlic in here. Put a little cup of this in here. 
So I got this ready. Only thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this cook slowly until my uh, meat, until I taste the ham and it's the right. I about I, I have about 30 more minutes to cook. Then I'm gonna put my baby lima beans because the lima beans are frozen, so they ain't gonna take them very long to cook. So I'm gonna put some water on here and let this steam, and I'm gonna let it cook and get the, uh, the turkey get tender, and I'm gonna get back with you. Okay, put a little water. Wait, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover it. I don't want to put too much water in here, I'm sorry, because I I want to just have enough water. I don't want to keep changing water. I mean, putting, adding water. I want enough water just to cook the beans, too. And I'm a, also, I keep water boiling in case I have to uh, add, uh, so in case I have to add some more water. And I want the water to be hot. Here's my cubes. I forgot about them. They got my chicken cubes. Here they are. This going to make it taste good. That's why I didn't want to add too much, uh, you know, salt. Because I had that too. So I'm going to let this cook. This is going to be so good. I'm going to let all these vegetables cook into this turkey. And for about, I'd say it's going to take about 45 minutes. And I'm going to cook it on medium heat. And I'll get with you. Yeah, my uh, ham, turkey. I keep on saying turkey because it looks so much like ham. But this is smoked turkey, y'all. Smoked turkey. It's about ready because. I tasted it and the, the, the vegetables. I don't think I might put no more vegetables in there because I can taste the vegetables in there. I'm going to let the uh, lady, the uh, baby llama bean do its thing. So I'm going to taste this juice. Mm -hmm. I don't need too much of salt at all. And I didn't put a little, I'm going to put a tap of sugar in here too. Mm -hmm, that's good. So what now? That's good. I'm ready to add my um, clean llama bean. They drain. I'm gonna pour them in here with the ham, with the turkey. I think I wanna sit down. Pour them in there with them. I'm gonna see. Do I? This is two packs. So frozen, regular size, frozen. I'm gonna see if I need another. I got another pack in case because I want these to equal out to the meat. So that look. I might have to put another pack. I don't know. So that good. I got let these cook for about thirty. About 30 minutes, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some pepper on here. I'm not going to put no salt on here. I think I got enough salt. I'll taste that in the end. Put some pepper in here. Let these llamas, I, I think I'll put the other pack in here. Because I want a lot, I want to make sure I have, don't, I don't want the meat to overpower the llama bean. So I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Some of the hot pepper. It's seasoned really good with those vegetables I use. And so I'm going to put this other pack in here. Okay, I added it was three packs because I had a lot of meat in here and I got some boiling water. If this, um, if it dries out a lot, this is how much water I really want in my pot because I don't like a lot of water, llama beans and stuff. I just on baby llama beans, I don't like too much water. So I'm going to let this cook. Put a little more sugar in there, just a little sugar in there. Maybe a little pepper. I don't need no salt right now. And it's hot enough. Let this cook. You know, I had put all those vegetables in here. I don't think I need. I might put a little bit more vegetables in here. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm adding a little vegetables in here just so it can get taste. I put them all to combine them together. It was the peppers, two types of peppers, bell pepper, uh, a green, um, I had garlic. I had uh, green onions. I also had... Uh, uh, how, uh, hot, I use hot, uh, hot sauce because I didn't have no jalapeno peppers, but I use that. And that chili pe pepper, mild chili pepper, poblanto, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And I, that's enough, and I'm putting a little bit over here. I'm going to let this begin to cook. It's going to take these uh, baby lima beans, and uh, the turkey's almost done because I let that cook. I let that cook about an hour and 30 minutes to the turkey because sometimes smoked turkey is a little tough. So I just want this to, um, to cook with the flavor. Uh, this Once they cook almost, the lima bean get a little tender, then I'm going to add my okra on the side. And the reason I'm adding okra, you just, if you never put okra in, in beans like lima beans, um, black eyed peas, navy beans, you need to try it because that okra, it gives, it's really good for you. It's got fiber, but it makes food like soup and, and beans that make them taste so much better. I, I never put it in pinto beans, but I do put them in this and I, I've been eating this all my life. So I'm going to let this cook. Don't that look good? I'm going to let this cook and I'm gonna, uh, I'll see you as soon as it's cooked. The beans, the beans, the uh, uh, lima beans been cooking about, uh, about 45 minutes. I'm going to taste them. 
because I'm getting ready to put the okra in there. They got to be almost done before I put the okra in there. Mm. It's still got, I'm going to give them about another 20 minutes. And then I'm going to put the okra. They're still kind of hard. I'm going to put the okra in on the sides of them. Okay, I got that with you. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Like I said, uh, when you are adding water to your beans and peas and stuff, make sure the water is boiling. This is hot. It's not really quite boiling. Stop boiling because I had cut it down. But I'm going to add just a little water here so it can continue to boil because you don't want it to stop boiling. And the reason I'm adding more water is to uh, cook my okra. So I'm going to add a little bit. Since I put water in there, I'm going to add a little more pepper because I diluted, you know, that. And I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar, just a tap. And a little bit more salt since I added water. And like I said, make sure your water is boiling when you add it, because you want it to continue boil. And now what I'm gonna do now, because my beans, my uh, lima beans is almost ready. I'm gonna take okra. This is the season. You don't. This is optional now. You don't have to do it. I'm gonna lay it on the side of it so it can cook. Just lay it on the side. I'm not gonna put it in case that this is gonna season these uh, lima beans really good. And I was just lay them to the side. These okra is kind of tough, so I hope it don't take them long. That's all I had in the store, and I wanted to use fresh one. So you know, we'll just come around the pot. Come around. And just to season it. So I'm gonna let them enough. And I'll take and add some juice. See some of this juice? I'm gonna pour on top of here. And it's gonna season this really good. And it cooks so. So you keep adding the juice on to it and cook it, cook it kind of low, because this is almost good to go, almost ready to go. I'm gonna add just a tap of water. See, it's boiling just a tap because I want to make sure the okra cook. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season my okra. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on the okra. Just a little bit, because I be eating. Some people eat them, some people don't. But it's seasoning your beans so good. So I'm put a little pop on here. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper down. So you just take, add, you know, take the juice and put it on your okra. And by the time these okra cook, just uh, be ready. See all this meat in here. It's lime is turkey, smoked turkey. That'll be red, good to go. Make sure you let your okra. Some people don't like this option. Like I like my uh, uh, beans and stuff with the taste of okra, so this option. But make sure you keep it. You know, every now and then, about every five minutes. It's gonna take about a good twenty minutes to cook. Take and add water on top. I mean, the liquid from the pot. Okay, then I'm gonna get back with you. Okay, y'all, here's the finishing touch of my lima beans with smoked turkey and a little okra for seasoning on the side. It's, I mean, it came out so good. And this is, like I said, this is my birthday. This is what I wanted. And I'm, these are, uh, I'm going to put these on a plate and I'm going to enjoy myself. But please tune into Maddie's Kitchen and support me. Go into my, the merchandise that I have on uh, YouTube. Support me and help me with some subscribe, subscribers so I can get you all some more good cooking. Thank you for tuning into Maddie's Kitchen and have a great day.